Hello YouTube, Crazy Robot Lady here with part two of the six days of Yano the Wise. As promised, today's story will be Jana and the Magic Fish. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure how <laughs> how visible I will be in this video because of the weird position that I'm having to take. <laughs> and my camera is not liking it very much. So I may just back off and give Yano the center stage. And I also wanted to tell you guys that there may be a change in the audio. I am trying to um, make a modification for a um, viewer of mine who is um, hearing impaired. So, if it bothers you guys terribly, let me know. Um, Heather, if you, if you can, um, let me know, uh, once this video goes live, if this did anything for you. Uh, if it didn't, I don't know, but, uh, here is my rather crude idea. Um, I have taken a pair of old Apple AirPods, not AirPods, EarPods. I don't know what these things are called. Um, but they came out forever and 50 years ago. Um, and they're basically wired AirPods. And so I duct taped them to between Yano's legs, which is the crazy spot where they decided to put his speaker. Um, and once I start the story, um, I'm going to plug those in so that all of the microphone input is coming from um, those two earphones. Uh, I put them parallel to each other on Yano's speakers with the uh, microphone part facing directly against the speaker. And sorry guys, I am trying to configure this in such a way that you guys can see both of us and you can also see the touchpad. <sighs> but my camera is flipping out. Um, if this doesn't work for you sighted viewers, uh, let me know and I will try doing this in a uh, cinematic mode so that maybe it can capture uh, a wider angle and maybe get a little more depth or something. I'm still learning about all this camera stuff, guys. All right. And just to review, this is the uh, story card. Well, this is the story card for Jana and the Magic Fish. And as you see, there are little stickers all over it. Well, these were intended to be used with a label wand that will speak um, the names of whatever you record on it. So let's say you chose this label and you stuck it on something. You press record on the label wand and it says, Smucker's Delicious Grape Jelly. So that's how it works. But because I needed these letters brailled, I knew a normal braille label, even cut, would never fit. So I took those little labels and labeled the card. And I realized that visually some of them are upside down, but if I turn them upside down, or if I turn them right side up, I'm sorry, so that the numbers are correct for you guys in print, it will turn the braille upside down so that they aren't correct for me. Uh, so 
They will just have to be this way. I know it irritates some people's OCD, but uh, <laughs> it works for me. <laughs> okay, so now that I've explained everything again, I'm going to hook up my hem system and we are going to get started. And there may be places where I make comments uh, during the story. So I will probably have to sort of shout those like I'm doing right now. So uh, my apologies, guys. I, I don't know. This channel is for everybody with disabilities and everybody who is normal, you know. So I try to be accommodating where I can. So we'll see how this works, okay? Let's get to it. So we'll start the story of Jana and the magic fish. Hi, my name is Jana. And to do this, you can either press um, the yes button on his chest, do you want to go on an adventure? which is turned backwards from me, so uh, okay, okay. Bye -bye. I had a feeling I would do that. Sorry. Do you want to go on an adventure? Here it is. <laughs> Press the green yes button when you're ready. Let's check to make sure my interactive story cartridge and story art card are in the right place. The name of this story is Jana and the Magic Fish. In the village of Pendar, the food supply was low. The men hunted in the forest for food. The women and girls worked in the field and harvested the crops. The boys picked fruits from the trees. Jana was too little to help, but Jana wanted to help too. So Jana made a wish. I wish I could help get food. to grant her wish. Jana was happy I appeared. Let's go fishing to catch fish for the village. Off we went. After a period of time, Jana caught a fish, but it was too little. It was too little to even feed Jana. of the fish. It's marked with an M. Press the picture of the fish. Please, I'm too small to eat. Throw me back. Catch me when I'm big. Should Jana throw back the magic fish or bring the magic fish to the village? Press the picture to throw back the magic fish or bring the magic fish to the village. And I'm going to press throw back, which is T, up here on this first row. Okie dokie, bye bye. He does not give you time, guys. None at all. Okay, uh... Hi, my name is Yano. Do you want to go on an adventure? Uh. Do you want to go on an adventure? Okie dokie, bye bye. Evidently you have to have this thing, like, facing him. Which is really hard. Do you want to go on an adventure? Do you want to make a wish? Press the green yes button. 
at du spruser ved i jordbøsken. Dang it. Første grin næst var du spruser ved i jordbøsken. Okie dokie, bye bye. Første grin næst var du spruser ved i jordbøsken. Press the yellow wish button to make a wish. Ugh, I don't want to do this, Yano. Press the yellow wish button to make a wish. Okie dokie, bye bye. Thank you. I'm sorry, guys. Apparently, I can't turn the remote and show you what I'm doing. So, uh... Oh my word, he's not gonna let me out of this. Ah! That's the best wish I've heard. Do you want to go on an adventure? Press the green yes button thing already. Yeah, apparently I have to keep this thing in, uh in his face. Let's check to make sure my interactive story cartridge and story art card are in the right place. The name of this story is Jana and the Magic Fish. In the village of Pendar, the food supply was low. The men hunted in the forest for food. The women and girls worked in the field and harvested the crops. The boys picked from the trees. Jana was too little to help, but Jana wanted to help too, so Jana made a wish. I wish I could help get food. Ooh. I appeared to grant her wish. Jana was happy I appeared. Let's go fishing to catch fish for the village. Off we went. After a period of time, Jana caught a fish, but it was too little. It was too little to even feed Jana. Ooh! The fish surprised us and spoke. It was a magic fish. If you want to hear what the magic fish said, press the picture of the fish. Please, I'm too small to eat. Throw me back. Catch me when I'm big. Should Jana throw back the magic fish or bring the magic fish to the village? Press the picture to throw back the magic fish or bring the magic fish to the village. The magic fish laughed. <laughs> the magic fish said, Thank you for throwing me back. You won't be able to catch me again. That wasn't nice, was it? He's asking you to make a choice. Press the green yes button or the red no button. No, it wasn't nice. You're right. That wasn't nice. Jana was sad. Jana should have brought the magic fish to the village. Oh well. <laughs> After a period of time, Jana decided to look for the magic fish. Jana could look for the magic fish by fishing in the boat or by swimming in the sea. What would you do? Press the picture by fishing or by swimming? I am going to choose fishing. Jana decided to look for the magic fish by fishing in the boat. Jana saw the magic fish was fully grown and had babies. Press the picture of the fish and the babies. The magic fish said, Thank you for throwing me back. I have a family now. Jana and the magic fish became good friends. The magic fish took Jana in the boat on a journey to an island. Jana found lots of fruits, nuts, and other food on the island. Jana brought everything back to the village. Oh boy, everyone was...
was happy. Donna learned every good deed deserves another. The end. That was a good story. Let's try a different way. Press the green yes button or the red no button. And I'm going to try another way. <laughs> Taking the fish to the village. Press the green yes button or the red no button. The on button is completely on the opposite side from the yes button. The name of this story is Jana and the Magic Fish. In the village of Pendar, the food supply was low. The men hunted in the forest for food. The women and girls worked in the field and harvested the crops. The boys picked fruits from the trees. Jana was too little to help, but Jana wanted to help too, so Jana made a wish. I wish I could help get food. Ooh! Ooh! I <laughs> appeared to grant her wish. Jana was happy I appeared. Let's go fishing to catch fish for the village. Off we went. After a period of time, Jana caught a fish, but it was too little. It was too little to even feed Jana. Ooh! The fish surprised us and spoke. It was a magic fish. If you want to hear what the magic fish said, press the picture of the fish. We're bringing the fish to the village this time. Jana decided to bring the magic fish to the village. Jana gave the magic fish to her mother. If you want to hear what her mother said, press the picture of her mother. I gotta find her mother. <laughs> oh, where are you, mother? Press the picture of her mother. Mother, 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 dearest. There you are. I'm so proud of you. What would you like to do with the magic fish? The mother let her decide what to do with the magic fish. Donna couldn't decide. Should Donna keep the magic fish in the pond as a pet? Or should Donna put the magic fish in a show? What would you do? Press the picture of the fish in the pond or in a show? In the pond. Jana decided to keep the magic fish in the pond as a pet. The magic fish knew a lot of different things. The magic fish told stories to the boys and girls to make them happy. All right. The magic fish taught the men and the women how to grow things. The magic fish taught the village everything he knew. And that was a lot. Everyone was happy. But the magic fish, this made Jana very sad. The men and the women used what the magic fish taught and worked in the field. The crops in the village grew very big and tall. The women and girls harvested the crops. The village had more than they needed. Terrific Jana decided it was time to throw back the magic fish in the sea. The village was sad to see the magic fish go back to the sea. The magic fish was sad to see the village was sad. But the magic fish was happy to swim in the sea again. The magic fish promised to come back every year and tell the boys and girls stories. The 
village decided to trade the crops. The village could trade the crops in the market or at the castle. The men would go to the market by wagon or go to the castle by boat. It took a long time to get to the market by wagon. But the village knew the men could trade the crops in the market for what they needed. Or the men could go by boat and trade the crops at the castle. If the men went to the castle by boat, there might be a storm at sea. I smell danger. Oh, dear. But the men would be able to trade for more things at the castle. Should the village bring the crops to the market by wagon, or bring the crops to the castle by boat? What would you do? Press the picture to bring the crops by wagon or by boat. Press the picture Oops. to bring the crops by wagon or by boat. We will go by boat. The village decided to bring the crops to the castle by boat. There was a storm at sea. The men did not get to the castle. Oh no, the magic fish decided to look for the men. The magic fish found the men and took the men on an adventure. After a period of time, the magic fish brought the men to an island. The island was beautiful. The island was filled with fruits, nuts, and other food. There were lots of things to do on the island. The men picked the fruits and harvested the nuts and other food. The men found a treasure chest too. The treasure chest was filled with gold. Awesome. The men were happy. It was time to go back to the village. The magic fish showed the men back to the village. Now everyone could go on an adventure to the island. Everyone was happy. Fantastical. The village learned good things can come out of hard times. The end. That was fun. Did you want to hear the story again? No. Press the green yes button or the red no button. Come on. Press the green yes button or the red no button. Press the green yes button or the red no button. Press the green yes button or I the am. red no button. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Press the green yes button or the red no button. Alright guys, switching back to normal microphone mode. Uh, <clears throat> I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for part two, I mean three. <coughs> of Yana the Wise, where we tell the story, um, The Secret Singing Stone. So anyway, guys, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I put up new content. God bless, and I will see you in the next